Okay, our next example, we've got the coordinates of the vertex and the focus. Find the coordinates, the equation is the axis, and the direction is the length of the lattice rectum in the following parabola. So what we've got is we've got our parabola, and what we need to do is just digest all the information. Again, what we get, we can see that we can get the vertex very easily. So V would be equal to 3, 2. Again, we need what we need to do is find the focal length. So the focal length is going to be 4 lots of A, which is equal to the number out the front. So we get A is equal to 1. We know the focus is going to be, because it's concave up, the focus is 1 unit up from the vertex. The directrix is 1 unit down. So notice the vertex was at 3, 2. So the directrix Y value now is equal to 1. Focus is 1 up, so it's 3. Axis of the parabola goes through the X value. So it's X is equal to 3. So the length of the lattice rectum again was 4A. So 4a is 1, so the length would be equal to 4. In next, so in this one, again, our, we look, see our vertex is 1 minus 3, just reading it off there. We know the concave, curve's concave down because it's negative. So the negative there tells us it's concave down. Our focal length's going to be 2 because 4a is equal to 8, the number out the front. So this time the focus is actually going to go down. So it goes down 2 units from 3. That's why that one is equal to 5. Axis of the parabola is going through the value there. So notice they are the same because that's on the axis of the parabola. So the X value stays the same. The directrix this time is above the vertex. So that's why it's going from minus 3. It's going up 2 to go to minus 1. Again, the length of the lattice rectum is 4 times A. And that gives us 8. So be careful which direction we're going. We're going concave down in this case. So the directrix is above the focus. So be careful which direction you send your values in. This time what we've got is x squared minus 9. What we need to do is manipulate this a little bit because it's not in the form we want. We want in, to get it in this form. And then even here we've got to play around with it a little bit to say, well, that would be x squared, and that's equal to uh, 1 outside of y plus 9. So really we're writing it like that. So 4a is equal to 1, so that's how I'm able to write that. Was 4a would equal the number out the front, and that's 1. So we know that it's in this form, so x is 0, y is equal to minus 9, so there's our vertex. Our focal length is a quarter, so again it's concave up, so it goes from minus 9, the focus is one quarter of a unit above. Axis of the parabola is on the x-axis this time, because zero is the focus is going through 0. And the directrix is y is equal to minus 9 and 1 quarter. It's going to go down 1 quarter from minus 9. Length of the lattice rectum is 4 times one, four times a. And if a is a quarter, that's going to give us 1 unit. This time we're going to have to start to complete the square. Because we're in this form. So notice what we do. We want to get it back into the x minus h all squared is equal to 4a outside of y minus k. We need to manipulate it. So we take the 7 across because I don't want any numbers here. I want need to complete the square. See it's minus 4. I divide it by 2, square it, then add it on. So that gives me the plus 4. Do it to both sides. This is a perfect square which can come down to x minus 2 all squared. Y is going to be minusing 3 because minus 7 plus, three, plus 4 is minus 3. So again if I want to write it in this form with a 1 out the front, that would make it a little bit easier. It's back in that nice form of the x minus h all squared. It's equal to the y minus k. So if you're not strong with completing the square, you're going to struggle with this part because you need to complete the square to find the vertex correctly and to get the focal length. So we get the vertex is 2, 3. The focal length there is going to be a quarter because 4a is 1. So again, it's concave up. So we go up a quarter of a unit for our focus. We go down a quarter of a unit for our directrix. Okay. Axis of the parabola is through the x value, which is 2. Length of the lattice rectum is 4a. Again, manipulating this time. Completing the square, so we take the 5 across. 9 is the number we add to complete the square, because 6 divided by 2 is 3, and square it is 9. Gives us 2y on this, so that should be a y there. So 2y minus 5 plus 9, because we added the 9 on both sides, gives us 2y plus 4. 
We've got the nice factorization to completing the square. We factorize 2 out the front because we need y by itself. It needs to be y minus k. So you can't have a number in front of y. We need to factorize it out. So that's why the 2 has to come out. Whatever's in front of y here factorizes out and leaves us the values in here. So we get minus 3 minus 2 from our h and k. Our 4a is now equal to 2, which means our focal length is a half in this case. Concave up, so it goes up half a unit from the vertex for the focus. So it goes minus one and a half. Minus three stays the same, so the axis of the parabola is minus three. The directrix is half a unit down from minus two. This gives us y is equal to minus two. Four times a is our length of our lattice rectum. Again, let's see the manipulation this time. Need to divide by two at this point. Because I want a perfect square. I want x by itself and I want a perfect square. So that's why it's divided by half. So we're showing out like probably the hardest types of uh, completing the square. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 because divide 2 by 2 and the square it gives us the 1 to give us that perfect square. We've got the half y plus the half we add 1 gives us the half y outside of 3 plus, plus 3 plus 2 over 2. Now we factorise the half out. Remember, we want y by itself, plus the 3. The vertex then would be minus 1, minus 3. 4a is equal to a half, which means a is a one eighth, which gives me the focus of minus 1. It's concave up, so it goes up one unit, one, one eighth of a unit from minus 3. The directrix is one eighth of a unit below. Axis of parabola stays the y x coordinate there, and the length of the lattice rectum would be 4 times a, which is the half.